traditional part of Celebrate Southampton, formerly Old Home Days, which is the giving of the roses. And this is something that is kind of a little bit of a fun contest just to honor people that are here. So we'll start out and you'll get the hints, I think, pretty soon. So how about, can we have the oldest woman here today? And let's break it uh, at least 80 years old. Raise your hands. I see Nancy. Do I see anybody else? I see one back there. Louise, yeah? Is that 80? It, another one back there? Okay, we may have to narrow this down a little bit. How about over 85? Anybody? Oh, I see one. Anybody else? All right, I think it's Nancy Hughes. <laughs> All right. Very good. Take your, take your pick of a rose. Great, so not to be outdone, let's move on to the oldest gentleman here. Uh, and here, let's, let's start a little bit younger. So let's, let's go with 85 to start. Who's here that's 85 at least? Okay, I see two hands here. All right, do three hands back there. Mr. Kozak, yes, all right. So how about, um, how about who's at least 90 years old? Oh, I see one over here. Any more? Are we moving to 94? 93, all right. I think it might be Charlie Fisher again this year. All right. Congratulations. Glad you could make it. Wonderful. Okay. How about, let's see, what's good? How about um, the longest married couple here? Husband and wife should be here, or your spouse, whichever, whichever you have. Uh, who's been married at least 50 years? Okay, we got a couple here. Anybody else? Okay, I think I saw a hand over here. How about 55 years? Way back? Do I see it? I don't see it. Oh, I see it way back there. Anybody beyond? Anybody competing with Mr. Koza back there? At least 55 years being married? Oh, another one right here. Okay, we might have to go one more round. How about 57 years? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we're approaching 60? Oh, 60? Yeah? Uh, there is Suzanne, yes? Well, this might go on forever here. I don't know. Uh, Sixty-three, okay. And how about back here? Sixty? Okay, I think I hear a sixty-three back there. Sixty-three back there. Okay, I believe that's the Koza, Sue and Bob Koza. Great, congratulations. Okay, how about uh, somebody who's come the furthest? Who's come at least 20 miles to get here today? Okay, I see a hand over here. I see a hand up there. About 25 miles. Okay, I see some hands over here. <laughs> well, okay. I'm thinking I'm over here, though. How about, I lost Tammy, though. Where'd Tammy go? <laughs> Tammy's talking with the roses. <laughs> okay, we got 25 miles, more than 25 miles. How far? 130 miles. I think that's going to be tough to beat. Where'd you come from? New York. All right. I think we have a winner. What's your name? Okay. Wonderful. Pick a rose. All right. How about the youngest or one of the youngest ones here? How about somebody who's... Uh... <laughs> Let's see. How about somebody who's uh, less than five years old? Less than five. I see one. I see two. I see three. Two there. Okay. Less than three years old. Whoa, another one. Are you four years old or two years old? Two years old? All right. How about a two year old? Let's give that little two year old a, a rose. How about that? All right. Very good. 
And uh, let's see, a couple others here. What else can we, give me another idea. What would you like to have a contest about here? How about, uh, uh, how many people have got uh, at least three generations of living in town? So at least three generations. Eight can go backwards, whoa. Well, let's go to five generations. How many? Okay, I see Charlie. No? Four. Four? I hear four. We got a five generation over here. Anybody else? More than five? Oh, five. Barry, of course. Then, okay, yeah. All right. Six generations? Okay. Seven? All right. Well, I don't know. We may be able to tie somebody back here, too. Are we at eight? Eight generations? All right, I think it might be eight generations. Let's go with that. Barry, how about that? Barry Searle, the Searle family. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to do one last one just because we have somebody in the audience that maybe some of you haven't met. But um, I'm going to put out a different category this year. This is for, uh, let's see, two, two different categories. Anybody that's had a birthday within the last... Four days. Within, or who's already turned, who's already had their birthday, and has turned something. So I see one back there. Art Lawrence is not raising his hand, but I know he had a birthday. <laughs> Charlie, did you? Charlie, too. Four days to go. Okay. And Art, when was your birthday? Friday, yesterday, yesterday, okay, and yours? Okay, well how about the closest one to today? So let's give it to Art Lawrence, how's that? All right, and then the very last one, I promise, who here, if I can have Scott's attention, Scott, who here has a kid named after a town in Massachusetts? I think we have two of them. Meet Scott Zebeck, our new town administrator, and his two kids, Hadley and Hudson. So there you go. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right, next up, I think we have the Legion and the Citizen of the Year Award. Thank you very much, folks. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Nichols, and I'm with the Southampton Legion. And this is another Legionnaire with us, Richard LeClerc. Every year, the Legion gets to decide who is Citizen of the Year. The town plaque goes back to 1967 of Citizen of the Year listings. Every year we take nominations and vote who will be the Citizen of the Year. This year's Citizen of the Year nomination letter. Once you start volunteering, you see how much others do it too. You can appreciate what they are doing for our town. He has been on many town committees, commissions, and boards, and is a multi-generational resident of Southampton, Mass. At the Congregational Church, he has helped with different boards, positions within the church, search committees, and singing for all to hear. With the Historical Society, I found out that he has been an active member for many years. He partakes in many other events throughout the year, and has done a fabulous job of representing his family name. I have the pleasure to closely work with him on many projects at the Clark Chapman House, and his work ethic and dependability goes above and beyond the definition of volunteering. His service and dedication to the people of the town, their town organizations, nonprofits, is immeasurable. Thank you for everything that you do. This year's 2024 Citizen of the Year is Barry Searle.
it's sort of weird to be talking to y'all without a guitar in my hands. It's not just me though, there's a lot of people here that do so much, get little or no accolades or recognition. I'm floored by this. Thank you so much. Thank you.